friends welcome back to my channel today i'm not gonna lie i really did not want to vlog i really did not want to film because it's just one of those days where i'm just like so freaking low on energy i'm just exhausted i woke up at like 11 20 a.m so i slept extremely late and then i had to go to my allergy shot appointment then i had to get a starbucks coffee because i was like dying because i was so tired like exhausted absolutely exhausted so today we're just gonna do a cozy home vlog because why not not I spend most of my days at home and I don't really go out and about and do a bunch of stuff just because I'm a boring homebody. I was just doing my cozy hobbies and I'm just like wait I need to film this. I am going to be playing on my switch today for sure and I like playing Fortnite like a lot like people say like Fortnite is the most boring game ever and they absolutely hate it. I love it. I absolutely love Fortnite. Fortnite is my life. Like Chipotle is some people's life. Okay, so the games that I enjoy playing are literally so fun. I am of course obsessed with Fortnite, but I also have been playing Witchy Live Story. I have Strange Horticulture. I have not played that yet, but I do want to play it eventually. And those are two like really cute like cozy fall games. I also have Red Dead Redemption, which is also like a more action-y kind of game, which are the kind of games that I enjoy playing. And then I have Hogwarts Legacy, I have Dreamlight Valley, Palia, and then I also have Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Stardew Valley. So those are all the game downloads that I have. I don't think that I have any physical card games just because I prefer to purchase them on the Nintendo store and then play them on my on my um, Switch because they're downloaded to my Nintendo account. So if I ever get a new Nintendo Switch, I'm always gonna have the games because they're downloaded to my account. Does that make sense? Okay. And then I have my journal over here, right here. This is such a cute journal. I got it off of Amazon and I might do some journaling today. I, I like to get prompts off of Pinterest and just kind of like write about those. So like, let's say I'm having a low energy depression day. I'll go on Pinterest and I'll type in like journal prompts for someone that that's overcoming depression and it pulls up a whole slew of freaking prompts so I love journaling it's definitely a way to kind of get my mind off of the negative thoughts that I'm having and I also like to kind of junk journal in some of these pages so like right here I like put like my receipt from when I went to the game store and then over here I kind of like decorated it a little bit with highlighters and stickers and I also did like a cute little spread right here oh my gosh I also did like an about me page and I really went all out with the fonts and the colors and everything so I do like this and I feel like it's a great hobby that I enjoy doing now I also enjoy reading you guys already know this because I read so many books and I make so many reading videos but today we're just gonna be reading the spell shop by Sarah Beth Durst we're not reading that right now because what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna catch up on some YouTube subscriptions and Carter Sullivan who is one of my most favorite youtubers that I always watch has actually uploaded two new videos since the last video that I've watched from her so I'm already in the process of watching the first video that I wanted to watch so we're gonna watch some YouTube we're gonna finish our coffee and then we got to go get my little brother from school at 4 p.m. because I'm his chauffeur and his taxi driver all in the same time and then when we get back home we're just gonna be home the entire day because it's a cozy home vlog so anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and let's go ahead and get into the cozy home vlog. There's my dog. Okay, say hi, Callie. <laughs> okay, my bed is an absolute mess, you guys. I am so sorry. We're gonna run to the kitchen to get our coffee because I think I left it in here and she is following me. Holy shit, what was that? Oh my gosh, I thought someone was here. Okay, well, I got my coffee from Starbies. We have four dogs. Draco, what are you doing? Say hi. Okay, this, it's always a party around here. It's always, shut up. <laughs> it's always a party. Because we got four dogs, two of them are the big dogs. This is one of the big dogs. Say hi. Okay. You wanna go outside? Okay, I love the dogs as a potty. Then we're gonna watch YouTube. Lucy, you wanna go potty? You wanna go potty? What are you doing? You wanna go potty? You wanna go potty? You wanna go potty? Okay, let's go potty. Do not trample over Callie, please. 
right, you guys, so it's currently 2.24 p.m. I gotta pick my brother up from school at four. So this will give us plenty of time to catch up on our reading with Carter Sullivan's recent videos. I'm currently watching her Perfect Fall Day at Disneyland video, and I'm almost finished with it, so yes, let's watch this. I quickly wanted to say something before I actually like finish watching my YouTube videos But if you're currently wondering what I got from Starbucks today because I completely forgot to tell y'all um, I got a pumpkin spice latte ice with the whipped cream on top and then I got they have like four pumps of pumpkin syrup that they put in it normally but I do not like like bitter coffee so I added three more pumps so I have seven pumps of pumpkin syrup in my coffee. It's really good. It's sweet, but it still tastes like coffee And I love coffee and I probably do not need to be drinking it because of my IBS But it's just it's it's so fun and it makes me happy. Okay, you guys. Whoa So I just got lost in a rabbit hole of Facebook Reels because those are so funny. I don't know why I do this I open up Facebook to text someone and then I end up seeing a video I click on it and then it just keeps scrolling like why is that a habit of mine? I really don't know. But now I'm going to watch Carter's next video. It is her 24 hours in Salem vlog. You guys, I really want to go to Salem, Massachusetts. So I am saving up money and I'm actually saving money to go to Disneyland for my 23rd birthday. So let's hope that that dream will come true, boo. Okay, I actually really do need to do homework today too because I'm so behind on like my reading for my book review paper as well as doing my school assignment for my group project and I do need to do my part in that assignment so um, we're gonna watch this vlog and then we're going to possibly do that um, assignment for my group project and that's it and then tomorrow we will do some more reading so yeah friends so we are gonna do some journaling I did not finish that second vlog but I am gonna finish it when I get back from picking my brother up but I have my journal right here I also wanted to share with you guys all the coloring stuff and like the supplies that I use to journal so let me show you guys. So I got this marker set from Amazon. I will link it in the description box down below. It has so many markers. Like, I'm in love. Like, I love this. And, oh wait, no, there's more. Don't you worry. Wait, no, there's not. My bad. I thought there was more. Well, anyways, I got this. And then I got this cute little makeup bag from Timu. It says pumpkin spice everything nice and it's got hello kitty on it and then i have all my stickers in here this is what they look like so i have like a buttload of stickers down in here so i got all that and then i have my journal right here my stickers my pens i also like to use this pen it's like a sharpie like paper mate pen that's like really nice so i love journaling i'm gonna look up some prompts on pinterest and then i will start journaling okay so I typed in journaling prompts for everyday motivation and it brought up a whole slew of prompts. So I'm gonna do these morning journal prompts even though it's like midday. I never journaled so I'm gonna do these morning journal prompts. I will like actually link this picture up on the screen so that you guys can actually do these journal prompts for yourself. And I'm gonna do a little journaling montage. Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play a favorite movie Laying right beside me I don't mind when it's just us two The corner coffee shop we like to go Late night walks with you to take me home With you I never feel alone These little songs. Alright, you guys, so I journaled, I wrote out the prompts. The prompts were, I got them off of Pinterest. They were, What are my intentions for today? Three things I am grateful for. How do I envision the day to be like? What are the things I want to work on? How will I show kindness today? And then, What are things that I look forward to? So, I will put a picture of what the prompts were because there were more, and now I'm just gonna play some Fortnite until I have to go get my brother so just like a few games it's 3 24 p.m. and I leave my house around 3 45 3 55 time frame so I can play like one or two games and be fine so we're gonna play some Fortnite <laughs> 
you guys I'm back home from picking my brother up from school and dropping him off at home it is currently um, 4 36 p.m. so it's almost dinner time and I actually did go and get some food so I went to Jack in the Box and I got two tacos and then some mini churros and then I have a Diet Coke because Diet Coke is my favorite soda in the whole wide world it's so good and it's sitting over there so I'm gonna pick it up but before I left to go get my brother I was actually playing Fortnite I played like one game and that was literally it and then I left and went and got food and then I went and picked my brother up so we are going to do some cozy hobbies now and actually do them like and just sit there and just do them like we're not gonna get up and move around and like change up what we want to do we're gonna sit down and do some cozy hobbies and it's gonna be so fun so I'm gonna put a movie on the TV for and then play some video games which is what I want to do but I'm just gonna play like one or two games of Fortnite and then I will most likely play a different game like a cozy game so I will decide on what I want to play whenever I get to that point so so for the movie I have a few options and I'm gonna turn the TV on right now this lighting is actually terrible but my TV is like right above you so I'm gonna turn the TV on and I have quite a bit of movies to pick from so I actually watch like DVDs because they're so good and I just love DVDs. So like if the, if the Wi-Fi is out, I can still watch a DVD. So I have Coyote Ugly, which is like my favorite. And this was already in the DVD player because I had started watching it last night, but I didn't end up finishing it. And I have Hotel Transylvania, Nerve, which is a really good movie. I have The Corpse Bride, I have Casper, so these are like two Halloween movies, and then I have Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2. I also have Scooby-Doo cartoons, so I might put some Scooby-Doo cartoons on and just have them playing in the background while I'm playing video games. So I think that's what we're going to do, just kind of have it playing in the background as like some ambiance. If we're not going to use some like actual ambiance, we're going to play Scooby-Doo. So that is what we are going to do. Yay! So you guys I'm waiting for my game to load right now but I wanted to hop on here and give you guys a few little tips that is kind of like the main focus of this vlog so of course this is a home vlog and I'm doing like a cozy home vlog and kind of sharing with you guys what I do when I stay at home for like the entire day mainly I wanted to give you guys some tips if you feel like you have wasted half of the day because I know that I have and whenever you have a half wasted day it does really like take a toll on your mental health and I completely get that so I am gonna give you guys a few little tips on like how to turn around a half wasted day because sometimes it feels like you have not been productive you have not done anything that's going to benefit you for the future so I want to give you guys some valuable tips to turn around a half wasted day so to turn around a half wasted day I feel like you should start your day whenever you do start your day doing something that you actually enjoy doing so let's say you do a fun hobby or you need to run an errand that's fun like go get a coffee or go to the bookstore and look around like that's my kind of fun errand if you want to like turn around a half wasted day then those are some great things that you can do and then you know if you have other things that you have to do even if you don't feel like doing them do the fun things like a really small like fun thing first so that it kind of gets you motivated for the rest of your day and then to turn around your half wasted day you're already motivated so then you can come home sit down get your work done get your school work done whatever if you've already wasted half of the day I would highly recommend using the Pomodoro method Pomodoro method is where you take a timer on your phone basically you set a timer for like 25 to 30 minutes and then you'll take a 5 to 10 minute break after that's up and you'll do that method for about four times through and then you'll take like a 
a 30 minute to an hour long break and then you kind of repeat it until you have everything done and I like to do that and it really does motivate me because I feel like I'm on a timer so I have to get things done like I can't waste my time because I'm on a timer so that's really motivating to me as well so that's a good productivity tip I also recommend to like not be so hard on yourself because when you're hard on yourself it does make your mental health kind of low and it makes you kind of sad and you have negative thoughts and therefore you're going to feel like, oh, well, I'm not going to be able to get anything done now because I've already wasted my day, so let's just keep wasting it. No, changing your thought process from negative thoughts to a positive thought is really going to help you to recover from a half-wasted day. So I definitely feel like, one, doing something you enjoy first is going to help you to get motivated so that whenever you do need to get your work done, you're already motivated to get it done and start it and keep going you also need to improve and like implement some discipline into your routine because sometimes motivation only gets you so far so implementing discipline over motivation is really helpful too because some days you're going to be like oh i don't want to do this well and you're not motivated well you got to do it anyway so discipline kicks in so that's a few tips for you guys and i hope that really helped you guys now let's get back to the playing the video games guys so I just cleaned my room and I've had a package sitting in my room for literally over several weeks and I haven't even opened the package to see what's even in it we're gonna open up this package it is from thriftbooks.com so it's some books that I've ordered so we're gonna give you guys a little mini book haul and we're gonna see what's in it so I always love book mail but sometimes I just forget what I order and I just get it to the side and then I never open it so I need to open this finally. Okay. So it's a little bit of a big package. It's two books. So we have The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. It's a pretty small book actually. And I'm excited to read this book because I've watched the series on Netflix and it was pretty spooky. And then I got The Whisper Wicks, The Labyrinth of Lost and Found by Jordan Lees. This is a middle grade book. And I'm really excited to read this. I love middle grade books. They're super easy reads and they're just super fun to read. So I'm excited to read this as well. So this is my little mini book haul. All right, you guys. Hey, it is currently 7.32 in the evening. Me and my family, we went out to dinner and then I'm back home now. I'm in my comfy clothes and I still have Scooby-Doo on the TV. Now I'm just gonna do some editing and then I'm going to play some video games.
is Saturday. It is like almost 3 p.m. and I'm home alone by myself. I have been editing all day and I went and got a coffee and it didn't work. So I'm gonna drink a Dr. Pepper and we're gonna see how that works. Anyways, we're not gonna drink a Dr. Pepper, my bad. We're drinking a Coke because soda is life. And I mean, I love coffee, but like I love soda too. So it's like a love-hate relationship. I clean my room, you cannot see my face because this camera's angle is terrible and I don't have money for a new lens, so <laughs> hashtag broke. So we're we're making do with what we have and I'm currently making a Coke. I prefer Diet Coke, but this is all we have. So we're gonna do that, Just crush the can up, grab a straw, we got a straw, a little glass straw and we have our little Coca-Cola moment. All right, you guys, so today has been a pretty chill day. It is Saturday, it is September 28th. It is almost October, and I am so freaking excited. We had a new bookstore that opened up in our downtown area. I went to that bookstore, I bought some new books, and I'm gonna share with you guys what I got. I'm so excited, I only got two books though. I got this one, it's like a self-help book. It is the Enneagram Empowerment, Discover Your Personality Type, Unlock Your Potential. And then the next book I am so excited for because I have never read a book by this author. I have one of these books by this author, but I have never read these books from him and I am so excited. So I already have Yumi and the Nightmare Painter, but I just got Tress of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. To say I'm excited is an understatement. I am so excited. I'm ecstatic. Like I've been wanting to read this book forever and I had it at the bookstore in my downtown area and it was right there and I just could not say no. My second book haul for this video. But anyways, today I'm just going to be editing. I'm going to be doing some reading for school. So I'm going to end the vlog here because I gotta edit this vlog and get it up by tomorrow which this is like the day before you're seeing this video so I gotta edit this vlog and get it up for you guys so anyways I love you guys so much thank you so much for sticking around and watching my vlog if you're new make sure to subscribe give it a thumbs up if you like this vlog and I'll talk to you guys in my next one bye